Hi friends, welcome to Offer Studies YouTube channel. This is part 54 in PySpark playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about few ranking functions such as row number, rank and dense rank and also we will be understanding the difference between these functions. Okay, so let's get started with this video. So firstly, whenever you want to perform any ranking function, on top of a data frame you need to make sure to partition the data in a data frame so for that we need to use this window dot partition by function to define a partition window partitions and then take that windows on each and every window you can apply all these functions this may be little confusing at this moment let me practically explain you this and also when you do the partitions you need to mention the order by also so when I say partition, let's assume you have some 20 rows in which we have name column, department column, salary column. So we can partition all these 20 rows based on departments, maybe two departments in HR and two departments in IT, something like that. So we have to create the partitions or windows of rows and then on that partition also we have to define how to arrange the data using order by classes. So once you can create that kind of windows, then only you can start using these ranking functions. Let me practically explain you this so that you will get more sense of it. So let me go to browser. Here I have already opened my Databricks workspace and here let me try to create a new notebook. And let me name this notebook as maybe ranking notebook. Okay. Python is a default language. This is my cluster. So let me hit create button to create this notebook. Once the notebook gets created, I will be creating a data frame actually. So to create a data frame, I have some hard coded data already. So let me copy this. So this is some code which will create a data frame. So let me copy and paste it here. And if you closely observe here, what I am doing is here, basically I am trying to import this row number, rank and dense rank functions from PySpark.SQL.Functions module and also I am importing this window from this PySpark.SQL.Window module. So why I am importing this because as I said I have to create windows of rows that means partitions of rows first and then start applying these functions. When I practically run some examples you will make sense of it and here I am creating a data frame basically if you see this data frame has some set of rows. For now, let me hit shift enter to execute this code and let me show you the data frame first. So you can see here command is running. Once the command execution completes, I can clearly see my data frame printed on the console. I can see this is my data frame. If you closely observe this data frame, I have HR department rows, I have IT department rows, I have payroll, right? There are a couple of employees informations with the departments and salaries. So this is good. So now what this row number function will do if I go back to presentation and if I read the definition, this is a window function which will be used to give the sequence row numbers starting from one to the result in each window partition. So for example, here, let me do one thing. So let me if you try to see here, this data is arranged in a, uh, there is no order basically. So let's try to sort this data first. So to sort the data, I am going to use this sort function and I am sorting this data based on department column and then finally showing that data frame. So let me remove this code here. Let me hit shift enter to execute this code. Now if you see here, this is my data frame. So let me zoom this here and now if you closely observe I have HR department rows from here to here and I have IT department rows and then I have this payroll department. So this is one set, this is another set, this is another set. So what I have to do using this window function, first I have to differentiate these as separate sets based on the department column and I can when I am creating the windows or partitions based on department column I need to make sure 
to provide a order by. So all these three rows in one partition should be order by salary. Again, all these rows under IT department window or partition should be order by salary column. So something like that. First, I have to define the windows. And once the windows are defined, I can use the ranking function like row number. So when I do that, what will happen here? It will come like row number 1, 2, 3. So by this, the window ends here and another partition starts. Here again, it will come like row number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So basically, the idea is row numbers are getting added on every partition separately. So that is how they will work. So let me practically show you that here now. So my data frame is printed. That is fine. So here, let me do one thing. So firstly, I need to create a window. So for that, I already imported this window here, right? So let me try to use this window. And on top of that, I can mention partition by which column. So I want to partition by this department column so that every department rows will be grouped together as separate partitions or separate windows. And then not only that, to apply this ranking function, I have to mention order by as well. So I am going to say order by salary. So group these rows by department and when you are arranging the rows, order by these rows with a salary. That's what I am going to say. So now this window will actually create the windows. Now I have to pass this window to the ranking function to do the exactly the same job what I was saying. So let me do one thing here. Here I am going to use the data frame dot with column function to create a new column. So let me try to name it like row number and this column should generate row numbers using this row number function. And to this function, I have to supply my window on which the row numbers should be generated. So this window is partitioning the data by department and ordering it by salary. So finally, let me try to use this show function and let me try to hit shift enter to execute this code. So there is some error. Row number positional or takes one. Okay. So here I have to pass some value basically. So let me practically show you that here. If I go back to presentation, if you see here, row number over window. Okay. So there is a syntax error. On top of this ranking function, I need to use this over function. And to the over function, I need to pass this window, whatever I created. So let me do that. Sorry for my error here. So over, apply row number over this window, whatever I created here. So now let me hit shift enter to execute this cell. And let's wait for the command to complete. And now if you closely observe here, here what happened? Data is getting splitted by departments successfully. You can see here and here. So each of these are separate partitions. And if you see, this is like a ascending order, right? So we are ordering by salary. So lowest one will be top, highest one will be at the bottom. Again, lowest one to highest. Again, lowest one to highest, right? And also now if you observe for every row in every partition, it is giving incremental values like 1, 2, 3, then again 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So again like so every partition when it jumps to the another partition, the row number will start again from the number 1. So the advantage of these functions will be in real time like for example, if you want to see in HR department who is the lowest salary. What I can do, I can apply like to take the row where department is HR and row number is 1. So that will give you. If you want the highest salary, then descending this order by this sort and then take the row number 1 for department HR. So in such scenarios, these are very helpful functions actually. So not only row number, there is something called rank function also give these values. But what rank function will do, it will try to skip the uh, rankings. So for example, what I mean is here, if you see here, if you see here, it is same salary, but uh, I mean it is a different salary and here it is same salary. So what it will do, it will say like rank 1, rank 2, rank 2. Whenever it sees the ties, whenever it sees the same values, it is going to give the same rank and it is going to skip the next one. So when I say skip the next one, what it means is, for example, if you take this partition, it will say rank 1, rank 2 
rank 3 and again 3000 so rank 4 and after that here uh, sorry again rank 3 then because why because it will continue when you when it sees the tie and then here it won't give you rank 4 it will directly give rank 5 so dense uh, the rank function will skip the ranks because previously you have one tie so one rank is skipping and it will directly use the another rank whereas dense rank will not skip anything what it will do rank 1 rank 2 rank 3 again rank 3 because 3000 and then it will continue from rank 4 even though it repeats it is going to continue so let me practically show you that so here what i am going to do i applied this and then let's try to use another with column function let's try to use another with column function so once again let me close this here so with column and here this time let's try to use uh, let's try to create another column called rank and for this to the rank function apply rank function over window and then finally show it so let me hit shift enter to execute this code okay so there is an error actually i think i should use a dot here let me hit shift enter to execute this um, okay so because the line is getting splitted so let's try to use a slash 2 so let me hit shift enter to execute this code and now here if you see it generates a rank column 2 and if you closely observe for this partition it gives the same rank again because identical values and when you see the it department partition it gives the same rank here right 3 and 3 right see 3 here and here also 3 and again for the next thing it is going to give rank as 5 the reason is it is going to skip here because it repeated one time so one rank is skipping dense rank will not skip so let me practically show you that as well here so what i will be doing it here is again let's try to let me use a slash because i am going to write in a new row and here let me try to use like with column and then let's try to create a new column called dense rank and let's try to use like dense rank function over window what i created finally let me try to show the results so let me hit shift enter to execute the code and now if you closely observe you can clearly see dense rank is not going to skip so even though it repeated the rank here because 3000 3000 the next rank is continued from the next different value so this is how dense rank will work so let's go back to presentation so that is what i have written here also like rank window function is used to provide rank to the results within the window but this function is going to leave the gaps in the rank when there is a type whereas dense rank function does the same thing but it, it is not going to leave the any gap here so i hope you got an idea how rank row number and dense rank functions will work and also you got a difference between them thank you for watching Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.